Okie doke. So we got our three squares. We're gonna be moving on to something that we're doing. It's called a burst. <clears throat> and what we're gonna do is just get the drawing done for this lesson. And then the next lesson will be um, <clears throat> addressing the value in the back and the negative space. So you're gonna just get your piece of paper and your pencil and your straight edge. And if you have an eraser, that's great. If not, that's okay, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um, getting a Ricola. Okay, so what you're gonna do is take your straight edge and pull a line across to make the what? The horizon line. And then we're gonna have a vanishing point. And then what I want you to do is go ahead and freehand a square. And then we're gonna take our straight edge and we're gonna look, if you look at this corner, we don't need to pull a line because it's going through the cube. So we're just gonna come to this corner and pull it down and this corner and pull it down. And then we're going to take a line down and make uh, our first shape. Um, <clears throat> then we're gonna come here and we're gonna make another square, just like that. Or you can do it ho actually however you want. And then I'm gonna pull that corner down and I'm gonna pull that corner down and then that line, that line, that line. That's the cube. So we've got two. We're actually putting 25 in around the vanishing point. So what you could do is freehand, um, you know, we've got two, here's three, here's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we'll just make all of those cubes and then we'll do the other, the other. We're gonna do 25. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna be like, okay, I could pull a little bit down, not very much. Here's another one. I'm gonna go to the vanishing point, I'm gonna go to the corner, bring that down. And then I'm gonna cut that off. See how little that is? It's just a little, you can just see a little bit of the side, not a lot. So depending on where your cube is, that's gonna tell you how much you can see. Um, so you just have to go with what you can see. So like obviously right here again, it's just two. One, two. And then we're gonna pull that line. Now it's not perfect and you know, for me, I like to clean everything up as I go because I get, I'll get overwhelmed. So um, I just do one cube at a time and clean up as I go. And I'm just gonna go all the way to 25. So we'll do that, that, and then I can see the bottom of that one. And so there's that one there. I'm gonna do this one here. And so the whole point is we're gonna be making 25 cubes that burst out of the vanishing point. And so this is this assignment's called Burst. And I'll be posting the assignment um, on Google Classroom and this video will be attached with it. But um, you're gonna be going around and doing 25 cubes going around that vanishing point. Um, and then once you get 25, it'll look something like this. So, um, and I'm, you know, just finishing the, the 25. So as you can see, you just really want to go one at a time, right? So I'm just going one at a time, trying not to, I'm not, tr I'm trying not to do too much or too fast because I'm, you know, I want to think about Let's count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I need to do 25. So at this point, you can either get all of the 25 squares drawn in and start drawing the, the sides, or you can just continue doing it the way I, I'm doing it. It just depends on what you prefer and what you want to do. But as you get further out, you're gonna start seeing that third side a little more because you see how when you get over here, we're gonna start seeing the third, the third side because it's farther away from the um, horizon line. So I'm just gonna 
put some here. I like to twist my cubes just because it just gives it a little interest so it's not all the same direction. But also, on the examples that are on the lesson, there's some that do um, really methodical and really organized bursts, and I love those. And then some people actually do circles. So if you wanted to do some circles to have some tubes instead, you could go like this and you could take that <clears throat> and come to the edge here and come to that other edge like this. And then you could, you know, turn it into like a little, a tube thing. People do all kinds of cool things. Um, so yeah, so again, I'll do another tube just so you guys can get the hang of it. But you know, you wanna go up to 25. So here's another one. So I'm gonna take, I take my straight edge to the vanishing point. I come to the edge of that circle and I pull a line down. I go to that straight edge, I come to the edge of that circle. Notice I'm not doing it here or here. It has to be, when you're doing a, a circle, it has to be on the edges of the circle and this line and this line need to be as parallel as possible. I know we're doing it with the human eye, but we're trying to make it as parallel as possible. So, you know, I'm just going around now. I'm just trying to get all of these cubes in perspective. Um, yeah, some people do really cool, like, they'll do like a burst of, of cones and it turns out really super cool. So it just depends on what you wanna do. So you wanna get 25 of these shapes and um, it ends up looking something like that or you can use that. And then the next video, I'll be talking about coloring in or shading in and doing the background. But this is the first, this is after the three cubes, which is this, then you move on to this. And you're gonna get 25 shapes, cubes or cones or um, tubes. And then next, last, next, the next video I make, we'll talk about shading that in. Okay, great.